Hi there, we've decided to put together some short technical videos documenting some of the repairs and maintenance that we get up to on Double Trouble. This won't be a regular thing, we'll just publish them when we think there is something relevant to show. So if there's any particular topics that you would like to see, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be notified of future episodes. industrious for this time of the morning my love. Yeah we're going up the mast today. We're gonna go why, are we, uh, why are we doing that? We're gonna go and uh, check our wind instruments and generally we haven't um, we haven't checked anything up there in the last six or seven months. So we've done a few miles so it's probably just a good uh, good thing to check to be honest. It's a beautiful day for it. We've got a nice flat anchorage this morning. So the first job was to release this which is the topping lift and that has basically dropped the boom down because we are going to use two lines to get Rob to the top of the mast. We always use the safety. Um, we're going to use the main halyard and the topping lift. The topping lift is the blue line at the back of the boom, pulls the boom up. And as you can see, we've dropped the boom down. It's sitting on a fender just to keep it off the roof. The um, topping lift goes through uh, the back plate and we've already replaced this once. And um, uh, it used to have a metal shackle just here and it used to nibble and wear away at this aluminium plate. So I've just put a bit of Dyneema with a bit of um, outer braid, just that's just to stop chafe of the actual Dyneema. And uh, after nearly eight, nine months, this is still pretty much good as new. It's, uh, it's a really good solution and it's working a lot better than the, the metal on aluminium D shackle that we had in there before. Rob has just untied the topping lift from the boom. Yep. And that's going to be the primary line that takes him up there. Yeah, this is a new line. It's a, t a 12 mil one that we just had put on. So it's uh, more, more than capable of taking my weight. Uh, and it means that for our halyard, which we've got running through this, this is also a Dyneema line, but um, it's just a bit more fiddly to connect to because it's going through this loop. So we'll still connect to it but uh, we'll, we'll run, run this one as our main line, it's easy. And the, uh, the halyard will be the backup line. Yes. Like I say, we always come up with two lines. But these are the other bad boys we're going to be using this morning. These are our marriage saver, they're what they call marriage saver headsets, they're Bluetooth headsets. So uh, I can be down here, Rob can be up the top of the mast and we can talk without the use of hand signals or any kind of gesturing. Just adjusting his harness. Around the old cram jewels there. Yep. <laughs> we do have a boson's chair, but Rob's going past the top of the mast this morning. Yeah, well I, I want I want to get above the mast and have a look at the um, at the connections on the very top plate. And uh, with this connection point I can uh, I can get just a little bit higher than I can with the boson's chair. So see this all up, lock it all off. Good. It's basically just a bit of S&M this morning, isn't it? Yeah, it's the only reason I like it. Just pinches in all the right a bit, places. A bit of bondage on Sunday morning. Yeah. So now the next stage is just to set up the line. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the topping lift onto the electric winch. That's going to be the main line, getting rolled up and down the mast. And then we're going to put the halyard onto our winch that we normally have the furling line on. And they're both going to run through these jammers as well. Yeah, which is an extra level of safety. So that's the top of the lift going through a jammer. And then that's run, running to the electric winch. The electric winch. Okay, done. Very good. Halyard's already through jammer, so that's just got to go around the uh, the backup the backup winch. Cool. Set. Marvelous.
So we've just started an engine, uh, basically because we're going to be using the electric winch and the sun's only just come up, so we don't want to pull too much power, put too much pressure on the batteries, so yeah, we're ready to go. So just at the top attachment for the stays and uh, just having a quick look at uh, how they're all connected, making sure all the pins are still in and there's no chafe. We have a little bit of chafe happening on the uh, Genoa halyard, just where it's running through the mast, but uh, I'll just show you what I'm looking at. So here I'm just checking all up through here that, um, that there's no loose wires and that we've got uh, good pins up here. Which we have, uh, the bank is all still working as it should. Um, this is all very nice. Uh, there is a little bit of chafe just where this runs through in here, so we'll have a look at that. Uh, but we can do that from the deck. Everything else is looking pretty good. So, So we're at the top of the mast. So as you can see with this harness, I can actually sit up now here and, and, and uh, see the top. So this is the, uh, the connection that is used for our wind instruments. And I've just checked that that's all fine. There's no water or anything leaking in. It's an NMEA barrel connector basically. So um, all I can do is just check that there's nothing leaking uh, or getting in moisture wise. But uh, yeah, it uh, looks pretty good up here. While I'm here, I'm just going to uh, just check that our VHF aerial is good. And um, all the other bits and pieces up here, they're all looking pretty good. So this is where our, our main halyard is. Um, and that that's all secure. And that these sheaves are all sitting here with no um, wear or tear and everything is tight. So yeah, that's looking, that's looking pretty good. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave us a comment below. If you'd like to support our journey, please head over to our Ko-fi page and buy us a coffee. For real-time updates, please check our Facebook and Instagram pages.